Welcome to STEM at Houston Public Library. I'm Leona Hosberg, and today we're going to make a stream phone. Teresa, can you hear me? Yes. All right. And you know what we're going to need? We're going to need these supplies. We're going to need some kind of cup or can. We're going to need string or fishing line. And we're going to need something to poke holes. And these are for kids that are five years old and up, but there is need some parental help. And you can see when we have, we had some cups, and we have fishing line, and we made a phone where we could talk to each other. But let's see how we did this. How did we do this? Let's see. Well, first, we need, here's our cans, but we're going to start with, what are, we, what are we talking about? We want to learn something. This is about sound. And in order to make sound waves, you have to have vibrations. So everybody can make sound when they talk. But if you put your hand on your throat, you'll see that there's something vibrating. You know what it is? It's vocal cords. So everybody put your hand there and say, happy birthday. Did you hear it? Those are vibrations making sound waves. And there's other things we can see that make sound waves. If, if, you, have, if you have this, um, triangle, it doesn't make any noise. But if you set, set it where it starts vibrating, then the sound waves come from it and make a lot of noise. That's right. Let's do it again. Ooh, and it's vibrating. Woo! That feels good. All right, this is one thing called a thunder stick, and it's just sitting there. It's not doing make any sound. But if I start shaking this, it's going to shake this, which looks like almost like a little drum and it shakes that and then the sound waves they start vibrating inside here and they vibrate and they vibrate and they, they get louder and louder because it amplifies and they mix it louder and then it comes out like a big sound so let's try it yeah and once again see so it's, it's vibrating it makes this vibrate and then the sound waves come up and it gets bigger so we're going to make something using the same concept, but this time we're going to use something from home. Now you could use cups like we showed earlier, or you can use tin cans like you have food in, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to put a hole in each end. I should already put a hole on this side. And parents, you need to help if you're going to use a tin can. You're going to have to use like a nail probably. If you're using a um, cup, then you could use like a good needle or you could use a, um, this one I used a protractor, of the sharp end. Okay, then you're gonna take string, and you can go up to like 30 feet of string if you want. Don't make it much longer than that. And then you're going to feed it into here. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, feed it in. And then you wanna make a knot. There it is. So I'm gonna make a knot, and I want it big enough so that it's not going to come through the hole, okay? So a few times. And whatever you want. Of course, you need two sides, okay? And then what are we going to do once we're done? Okay, so we pull it through. All right, now, you've got two sides. Now, we could go, the two people can hold it like this, but what do you think? Do you think that the sound waves are going to come through if we have it down like that? No, it needs to be taught. Because what's happening, we're going to make sound waves here on this end. We're going to put current into this. It's going to make the bass vibrate. And the vibration is going to go through the string, through the uh, twine. It's going to go all the way across and come to this side and make this vibrate. And then it's going to amplify or make the sound louder, just like it did here. It'll make the sound louder this side so the person's listening can hear. Okay, so you're gonna, it's going to start here, go through there, go to that side. Whereas if it's like that, does it look like it vibrate very much? No, it's not going to vibrate. It has to be straight. And you know, there's more sound that goes through solids than through the air because the air, then it can go all over the place. So let's try this one and just see how it works. Okay, Teresa, you want to say something? I heard her. All right, you guys, you got to try it yourself. Thank you for joining us at STEM. 
I hope you will do this activity and then tag us at hashtag I love HPL. See you later.